Well, hi, my name is Ray. I'll be your tour guide today. I'm a senior in Dunster House and I study astrophysics, so why don't we go ahead and look at Harvard University? So the building behind me is actually a three for one. There's the Freshman Dining Hall Annenberg, Memorial Hall, and also Sanders Theater. One cool thing about Memorial Hall is that it has the second largest collection of Tiffany stained glass in the United States, and that glass is also entirely secular. But why don't we go and check out Winder next? So this building right here is the Harry Elkins Widener Memorial Library. It was donated to Harvard after Harry unfortunately passed away when the Titanic sank. His mother gave this building to us, but she did so with three stipulations. On her first condition, no construction could be done on the outside of the building. For her second condition, a replica of Harry's home study was to be made in the center of the library. And for her third condition, every Harvard student was actually supposed to pass a swim test in order to be able to graduate. Those first conditions are actually true, but that last one is a rumor. So why don't we get to the John Harvard statue? So behind me is the statue of John Harvard. It's the third most photographed statue in the United States, and it's also known as the Statue of Three Lies. There's a plaque on the front that says, John Harvard, founder, 1638, none of which is actually true. John Harvard was not the founder of Harvard University, and that's actually not John Harvard. That's a replica of President Sherman Hoare's nephew who happened to be a particularly regal looking guy. That's the tour today, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. Please join us if you would like to see a longer version of our tour at the Smith Campus Center.